Hey, what's up guys? It's Libro here. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for joining me once again. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how the Call of Duty community has regressed in what we want, what we should be asking for, and like how there's literally like no direction or consistency with what people want in the community, man. Listen, I, this is my second time recording it, so I'm going to be really fast and I'm kind of pissed off because, dude, it didn't record my good gameplay that I got where I absolutely destroyed people, by the way, okay? But, dude... The Call of Duty community just makes zero to no sense, man. Like, bro, I am seeing tweets about how after Black Ops 6, which is now being called that, right? After Black Ops 6, after the potential Black Ops 2 remaster and or sequel to Black Ops 2 that Treyarch's making, because Treyarch's going back to back if you didn't know, um, people want a futuristic Call of Duty with supply drops and no more bundles. What the fuck, dude? What are we thinking? Are you fucking stupid to the people? Who are asking for supply drops for the people who are asking for futuristic call of duties for the people who want anything that was removed because the community didn't like it years ago what the fuck are you guys on are you guys fucking stupid bro i have never seen a more like divided community before on what we want because dude the things that we should be focusing on like skill-based matchmaking fake content creators cheating hacks on stuff we barely talk about it gets hit here and there right but when in our free time we we're not even like talking about it even more we keep talking about and going back to the store and all that stuff and listen i know the store's like fucked up and all that stuff call of duty activision only cares about the store but dude you guys asking for supply drops to come back makes absolutely zero sense i'd rather spend money on a guaranteed bundle that's twenty dollars just $20. I'd rather do that than spend $5 on DLC skins, blueprints, all that stuff. Because back then, during the future weeks of Call of Duties with Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, anything that had supply drops, Call of Duty Mobile 2, all of them are hated. All of the, everyone during that time hated the gambling system that Call of Duty had. Bro, I've seen people reason i've seen people state their reason for wanting supply drops back is because they like the thrill of not knowing what they're going to get potentially getting it and potentially losing that is a fucking addiction that is a gambling addiction that you need to call whatever the number is bro because dude why would you rather have a chance of getting something and not getting it rather than spending more to guarantee you get it bro dude i don't understand this community man because Look at this. Okay, look at this though. This is a potential scenario if we get if we add back supply drops, right? New DLC comes out. Uh, let's say it's the car 98k. The only way you can get it is in supply drops. No battle pass, nothing. You could either spend five dollars on one supply drop or spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on trying to getting it. And you're grinding the game for hours just for you know supply drops and all that stuff and getting like enough crypto keys to get in all that stuff, man. I'd rather spend twenty dollars on a guaranteed bundle that gives me like a skid a blueprint for the car 98k and or like ten dollars on a battle pass where i can unlock it by grinding the game people like merc music um jev i'm pretty sure Dever did supply drops merc music did a ton of supply drop openings but dude for people that did supply drop opening videos they had would they would spend hundreds to thousands of dollars on all their cards all their money and stuff i don't understand how we got to the point where we want supply drops back dude I don't know how far we've regressed to actually want supply drops back because, dude, we fought for literally like three or four games that we never wanted supply drops back. And it was it was a nightmare. Literally, think about it like this for a full damn near 12 months for each game for 36 months straight. We had this supply drop system, essentially. And some people were dropping bank on Call of Duty. Compared to now, where all they have to spend is like $10 and grind the game and or buy like a $20 bundle, right? Dude, I remember, like, guys, if they go back to supply drops, we're going to get variants of blueprints and they just scale differently, bro. Like, this is the worst possible thing we could do for Call of Duty right now, adding back supply drops. And if they do it, I'm blaming all you motherfuckers that asked for it, bro. Because, dude, when I was growing up, right, watching all of Jez's videos, Merc Music's videos, the supply drops is opening videos bro i've realized like yo how much money are they realistically spending but i remember for merrick music's videos specifically it would sometimes cut to him on his credit card and he's like dude i don't know if my credit card's gonna you know allow this dude because i've spent so much money already and people would literally sit there for hours straight up gambling their money away for not some for something that's not even guaranteed i don't know why people want that back 
what are we doing as a community? We are asking and begging and suggesting the wrong things to come back and toward to be removed, dude. I don't understand how much we've regressed and how we were able to do this, bro. Because, dude, because once Call of Duty makes a good change, there's like five other changes that need to be made immediately for the community, man. This shit takes time. <laughs> like, it does take time, but like glaring glitches that ruin the game, I get that. But things like supply drops and or jetpacks and Call of Duty's like um, advanced movement, all that stuff, like advanced warfare, but like futuristic Call of Duty's and all that stuff, futuristic movie and shit with exosuits like that shit should never come back because that's not call of duty that's a completely different game okay it just has the call of duty name but it ain't call of duty okay i just don't understand how we are doing this once again ladies and gentlemen how we are regressing how we're just allowing this all to happen bro because dude i, I just don't understand how for years we begged for this change right and then once we have it for a couple years that one change that we wanted to make right we suddenly want to fucking fuck it over again but I, I i don't know man the call of duty community always seems to surprise me every fucking day on twitter on youtube and all that stuff i've just been seeing the most craziest takes like how movement should be removed another one being how we should remove shipment to stop grinders from actually grinding and all that stuff another thing that i've seen is we should remove slide canceling and go back to Modern Warfare 2 2022 movement. Another really bad one that I saw was how we should be removing and stop getting free DLC. I remember as a kid asking my parents to buy the season pass so I could get all the DLCs and all the new weapons. I never got it, but it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I hate it. I just don't know how as a community we are regressing even more, man. But yeah, it's been your boy, little guys. Drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.